So here are seven ways that a narcissist might manipulate you. Number one, through gaslighting. Gaslighting is when somebody takes what you're saying, what you're doing, or how you're feeling and twists it to be something that it is not what you're saying or thinking or feeling, and then tries to convince you that that is correct and not what you're actually saying, thinking, feeling, or doing. So they make you guess and second guess everything you're doing through this gaslighting. They will twist arguments. They will basically flat out lie and use gaslighting to manipulate you to believe that what you think is happening isn't actually happening. Number two, they will manipulate you through devaluing you. They will convince you that you are not worth what you believe you are worth and what you actually are worth. They will convince you that you used to be good and you're no longer good. They will take any value that they placed and had in you or claimed to in the beginning and take it away. And they will start to do things like diminish you, make you feel like you're not enough, actually tell you that you're not doing good enough. Basically, nothing pleases them anymore about you. So number three, they use triangulation. They pull others in to the dynamic with you and them, a third person or more sometimes, to offset things, to create confusion, to manipulate you, to believe that the other person thinks that they're right and you're wrong, or to make you jealous. They use someone, another person of that they pretend to have interest in or have interest in or are actually cheating with and they will make the situation so that you know about that or so that you have speculation or that you have suspicion about that and then you are triangulated into something they will tell the other person another person in your life about how awful you are so that the other person comes after you saying why are you treating them that way they they use triangulation to manipulate and confuse to make sure they always have someone on their side i've even heard of them triangulating where they tell one person oh so and so doesn't like you they're not a very good person blah 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 and then they tell the other person hey so and so over there they don't like you so basically they're turning everyone and pitting everyone against each other and yet they're the common denominator they're the one that has the connection and the communication with those other people they'll do it with like their own children and the new people in their life with um their parents and a person with their it's it's very twisted and confusing and it brings in other people so that you feel totally manipulated and totally confused about what's happening or you know exactly what's happening and you are struggling to get out of it and to have anyone believe you you feel invalid and validated through this experience often so number four they play the victim need i say more if you have a narcissist in your life who plays the victim you know what i'm talking about they twist things around and then make it how they're the ones who are so hurt. So you might have them do something that is not okay. And you say, hey, why'd you do the thing that's not okay? And then they will say, why do you always make it about you, right? Or they will say, oh, I guess I'm just a bad person. You know, I, I blah, blah, blah. They shut down, they curl into a ball, they retreat, whatever it is they're gonna do, they're gonna play the victim. Or they're a horribly toxic person towards you in your relationship. And then when you leave them, they say, oh, they left me. I know I'm bad, it's my fault. Or wow, they really were hurting me. Or even more than that, they'll go around and tell you you're an abuser, tell other people rather that you're an abuser. They'll go around and tell people that you've done horrible things to them so that everyone else thinks you're a bad guy, right? Number five, they use projecting. They say what is going on with them and pretend it's going on with you. They will accuse you of all things under the sun, everything from lying, cheating, stealing to uh, anything, pretty much anything that they are guilty of or are planning to do or thinking about doing or would love to do. They project and make it seem like you're doing it. They project their guilt, their shame, their hurt, their pain onto others so that other people have to process it. Other people have to take accountability for it. So they don't have to do anything. So they can sit back and pretend that, that the world will do their bidding, right? Number six, boundary violation. Boundary violation, they will manipulate you through 
manipulating the boundaries you set a boundary and they go against it you there's no way to really keep secure healthy boundaries intact with a narcissistic toxic person involved in the relationship there just isn't they won't allow it they can set their boundaries that's clear but they won't respect other people's number seven control they love to be in control basically all of this is about being in control but they control your actions through guilting you through lying about you through threats through threats through smear campaigns all of it it's all about control yes it's all about supply yes but the controlling aspect of certain narcissists with manipulation is you're basically your whole world when you're with a toxic person like this becomes about managing them becomes about managing the relationship and you don't have a life outside of it that's control that's someone controlling your every move your every thought and your every feeling i am lisa colucci i am one of the life coaches at queenbeing.com if you need any help with anything regarding narcissistic abuse narcissism or anything like that in your life check out the information in the description of every video there's info for coaching and group coaching there as well Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit subscribe and take care. Bye-bye.